The Moros Intrepidus is one of the five feather dinosaurs to appear in Jurassic World Dominion and is the most accurate dinosaur to appear in the Jurassic Park franchise. But how accurate is this little thing? Well, that's what this video is for. Today I'm going to be listing all of the good and bad stuff about the Moros Intrepidus in Jurassic World Dominion. First, I'm going to talk about the bad parts and then I'm going to talk about the good parts. One inaccuracy I'm going to talk about is the size. Now, surprisingly, the Moros Intrepidus is one of the few dinosaurs to actually be undersized in the Jurassic Park franchise, next to Dilophosaurus. In the film, the Moros is portrayed to be a small dog-sized theropod, but in reality, the real-life Moros Intrepidus was a lot larger than it was in the movie. It was probably as large as a deer, though we only have a few remains, which are fragmentary, unfortunately though enough to show how big this thing was. Next is the skull shape. Like I said before, we only have fragmentary remains of the Moros Intrepidus, but in my opinion, I believe that the skull is a little too short and too robust, when it was probably longer and thinner in real life, since this thing was a small, probably early Tyrannosaur. Now, this isn't really an inaccuracy, but more of an annoying nitpick I really don't like. That being the tip of the tail. For some reason, the tip of the tail is completely featherless and is bare, and is with this weird red color. This makes the Moros look like it's dying while its tail is molting off the feathers as it, well, dies. And I'm pretty sure the real life animal wouldn't have its tail completely bare, and instead would have had a pretty fluffy tail as it probably was covered in feathers, kind of like this reconstruction right here. Alright, I'm done with all the bad parts and inaccuracies, so now I'm going to talk about the good parts and accuracies. Now, one thing that's accurate is that it's covered in lots of feathers. Now, this is possible as this was a small, probably early Tyrannosaur, and lots of early Tyrannosaurs were covered in feathers. Another thing that's accurate is the fact that it keeps its hands in the correct hand position, keeping in the accurate inward hand position. And it never seems to pronate its wrists ever in the movie. Which is a really nice detail. The three fingers it has is a possibility, though we don't know if they actually had three fingers or if they eventually gained two fingers. Another accurate thing is that the Moros Intrepidus has lips, like lips that cover the teeth when the mouth is closed. This is a very good and accurate detail, as most to all theropods had lips that covered their teeth when their mouth was closed. Next is the fact that the face isn't shrink wrapped and the eyes are, well, having the correct pupils the eyes have the correct round bird-like pupils as the animal would have probably had them in real life and the face doesn't appear shrink wrap like you don't even see the fenestre being exposed on the skulls so that's a pretty cool detail the torso is a little too thin but this doesn't bother me as much as say the pyroraptor the last detail i want to mention is the fact that they gave it long thin legs now the real life moros intrepidus did indeed have long thin legs since these guys were discovered to have long legs, these guys were probably really fast. Though it is also possible that they could have also just been ambush hunters. Though, we may never know until we find more evidence. And in Dominion, they gave him long legs, which is accurate. Sure, the feet look a little too big, but other than that, it looks pretty good. And it looks very bird-like, as it would have been in real life. So if I missed any parts of the Moros Intrepidus, uh, tell me in the comments below. I'd like to know about them. Anyways, that's the end of the video now. Alright then, bye.